welcome back to another Boy Who Cooked the World video. Today, we're going to be making a hibiscus honey sweet potato with corn and some collard greens. Let's go. So, for the hibiscus sweet potatoes, we're going to need to cut the sweet potatoes and peel them. So, first for the cutting, we're going to cut it here and then here and then peel it. So, I'm going to use this potato peeler. And then, well, you know how to peel a potato, I think, I hope, I hope you do. And so you just, nice, even strokes. Just like that. Make sure you get most of the skin off. It doesn't all have to be off. I mean, we're not perfectionists here. Well, we should be, but, you know, can't do everything right, can you? No, you can't. Okay, so once you finished peeling this, and now that you have your potato all peeled, you're going to cut it into circles. That is not a perfect circle. Boom. Compromise with that one. So nice little circles like this. And you're going to do this with all of your sweet potatoes. Not too big, not too small. Size really does matter here. If you're going to cut them big, cut them all big. If you're going to cut them small, cut them all small. But I suggest you stay with medium. Okay. Just like this. Boom. Once you do it like this, you're going to come over here to your pan. Okay, you see your pan? And you're going to just throw these potatoes in there. Okay, just throw them in there for right now. Okay. Just to have the pan on. Okay, just throw them in there with some water. Okay, so this is the first step. Um, you can really do one potato. It depends on how much you are going to eat. Right now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven potatoes. And I'll be back. Okay, so we have these in the pan. I only actually did four because it filled up the whole thing so fast and I didn't know it would. But now we're going to need some water. So make sure you have your pan on high. And... I'm going to add some water. More water. A little bit more. Okay. Now, we're just going to let that sit until it starts to boil. Once it starts to boil, then we'll add the hibiscus and the honey, and it's going to look amazing. Oh, and also put the top on. On to the next thing. Okay, so now we got these collards that we're about to cut up, and I have these collar, I have these collards stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna just cut them like this, even the stems. I cut the tips off of them, but you know. But now I'm gonna cut it just straight down. This actually makes less work than cutting them one by one, or you could ball them up like the bottom up like this to make it smaller and to where you can hold it and then go like this it all comes out cut the same that means you'll have it even cut precisely throughout the whole uh, collard green whatever you want to call it and I also did rinse these off uh, that was a little bad part also did rinse these off, so do that too. I have um, about three stalks of collard greens. As you know, I am a part of a big family. So this will serve a lot. You can, if you do not know how to take the recipe down or lower the servings, comment down below and I will help you with that. Or you can just direct message me at the boy who cooked the world. Link so that Instagram will be in the bio. OK. 
Okay, so once we finish cutting that, this, uh, I'll show you how to cook it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the greens in the pot. I filled up some water. Ah, oh, that's hot already. That is hot already. To <laughs> close up to it, and now we're going to cut the onions. So over here, as you can see, we have these yellow onions or white onions? These are yellow onions. So we have two yellow onions and a red onion. To cut these onions, we're going to cut them like this. Okay, get, make sure you get all the skin off of it and push that back. Get that out your way. Then if you look closely, there are rings in this onion. In most onions, and all onions. But we need to get this, this part, this little part right here, off of it. So to do that, I like to just go like this. Boom. And then start peeling. And boom. So that's how, without taking a nice big ring off of it, I get the skin off. Now make sure you don't get this too close to your eyes. You will burn your eyes from the fumes. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. Okay. So now to actually cut it. I cut mine in half. And then for these collards, I'm not going to cut them in cubes. I'm just cut them down the middle like this. Well, not middle, but in like little little rainbows without the colors. So, or whatever you want to call these. So they're going to be like this. And then you just throw that in your greens. Oop, I cut sideways. Hold on. Put them in your greens. You're going to do the same thing with the yellow onions, and I'll be back. Okay, we cut all the onions up. Boom. Put them in the pot with the top on, and now it's time for the corn. Okay, so now for the corn. I'm going to peel this corn or shuck it, whatever you want to call it. What I like to do is take my knife. This makes it way easier and just make a lining around it. Don't go all the way through it. Just make a nice lining around it. Just, just... Okay, so now we have the corn and how I like to cut it is I just like to make like a whole line carving around it. Okay, then you'll see it like that. And that makes it so much easier for me just to go around it without having to worry about oh wait you can't even see it. anything else so it just comes off so much easier boom 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 push this off and then this part boom easy see easy for it it's easier for me of course you can always shuck it the other way now this part it normally works better when this whatever stem you want to call it is longer because um, e it's easier for me to grab a grip without puncturing the corn or breaking the corn all the way in half so what I'm going to have to do, since it's not as long, is take a hack at it. Boom! Normally, when it's small enough, you can break it off. Now, like I said before, since I do have a big family, I did this to show you guys. But I also did that. Okay, so we're going to put this, <clears throat> we're actually going to break them in half, like this. So, just easy. Grab it, and as you can see, my arm, my hands kind of twisted. That's to give me some nice support, so, boom. <clears throat> see? I'm sure you can. Boom. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time, 
Hopefully, you get it right. Boom! See? Ooh, losing space on my cutting board. Losing space on the cutting board. I'm, I'm actually taking this off. So, yeah, that's basically how I'm going to do it. Boom. Easy. Enough. And I'm going to put the hibiscus in. It's about one and a half cup hibiscus flowers. I'm going to just throw them in there on top. Spread them around. Boom. Now, here comes the magic. Hold on. Magic is near. Once they get into the water, they should start letting off their red essence. Ah, uh, you see? I don't know if you can see it over here. I don't know if you can see it at all. Here. If you look over here, it's not showing it on camera for some reason. But you'll see afterwards, after it's finished cooking, you'll see what it looks like. It will look amazing. So now that you have the hibiscus in you gotta put the top back on and wait until the hibiscus seeps all the way through in to the potato then you'll add your honey and with these once you let those cook a little bit more you'll be set okay so we're over here at the greens I'm trying to make it to where the steam does not get on the like that does not get on the camera but yeah this is what the greens look like we got our our tongues and I'm just gonna go mix it they're nice and a, a nice vibrant deep green it looks amazing once it gets to a nice uh, nice cookness then we're gonna cook this that's not even a word I just made it one is it a word? I don't know but once it cooks nice and well we'll start seasoning it mainly just with garlic and salt Here's red onion and stuff. Yeah. Put the top back low. The potatoes, as you can see, they're done. We put the hibiscus in and then the honey. I used about two tablespoons of honey. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Look at there. Nice and all red and hibiscusy. Tastes amazing. Then we have the greens that we have not seasoned yet. So to season the greens, we're going to be using some black Hawaiian, black lava Hawaiian sea salt. What? Black lava Hawaiian sea salt. Sounds amazing. A teaspoon. Then we're going to use some red, some crushed red pepper flakes to give it a little spice not too much because these are spicy then we're going to use some array oregano <laughs> actually oregano, oregano so we're going to be using some oregano put about this not too much get it nice and sprinkled then we're going to need some garlic. Okay, so we're using the garlic top. I like to lightly coat half of it. Well, most of half of it, and then pour that in. How much is that? That's about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons. That was two tablespoons right there. And then we have basil. And we're going to sprinkle that, not too much, just like the oregano. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A little sprinkle, sprinkle. Then we have some ginger root. Not too much, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Close that up. Okay, now we're going to mix this up. Like this, just like this, like this. Then we have some extra virgin olive oil. I guess this thing was just born then. <laughs> okay. Add about a tablespoon of that. Okay. 
And then we're gonna keep mixing that. And boom, that's how you season it. Just like this. Hold on. Let's see. You can see the herbs floating around in there. Just like this. See all those herbs? Okay, so this is done with all the seasoning and everything. And here's the corn. Now with the corn, I just add, I put some, oh that looks really good in the camera. Really, really good. Especially this one. This one's looking good. So I just put some black lava Hawaiian sea salt on it. And I just sprinkled some nice, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so that's what we're cooking, and now on to the plating. Okay, so as you can see here, we got the corn with the collards and the potatoes. Look at that. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you come back for our, new, our next new video. I'm going to try to post more often, or yeah, more often. Uh, make sure you go to my Instagram. The link is in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. And I'll see you guys next time.